you how I made my vision board for 2021. Now in the past, I've done vision boards in different ways. Like I've done like a cork board. I've done like a poster board where I like glue every single picture. And for 2021, I decided I would do something a little bit different and I'm gonna show you how I did it today. So the first part of this video will be how I ideate uh, my vision and then I will get into how I actually created the vision board and then the third part of the video will be what I actually, like me explaining what is on my vision board. So um, I will leave the time codes in the description box down below just in case you're interested in watching any specific part of this video and let's get started. So before I do any of the boarding, I do the visioning. You gotta envision what you want before you actually start putting things on a vision board. I mean, that makes sense, right? One of my favorite ways to ideate my vision is to do a future life entry in a journal. Put on some relaxing music, light a candle, tell your little brother to leave you alone, and start dreaming about what you want your future life to look like. Be very specific. Be specific with exactly what you want. What bed do you wake up in the morning? What bed sheets do you have? Are they luxurious silk or are they a breathable linen because you live by the beach? What pajamas are you wearing? Who are you waking up next to? Or are you waking up alone? Which is totally fine, by the way. What do you eat for breakfast? What car do you drive? What's your relationship with your family and friends like? What's your relationship with strangers like? How do you treat other people? How do you treat yourself? What do you think about yourself? Be very specific about the dream life you want to live in the future. That way, when choosing imagery and quotes for your vision board, you're going to be totally mentally and emotionally aligned with the board that you create. Next, find photos. I use Pinterest because it's full of aesthetic photos. Photos you find from Google are often way too ugly. They just don't pass the vibe check. So I repin photos that I find on Pinterest and you wanna make sure that you actually enjoy looking at your vision board. Like it's okay to make it look pretty, you know what I'm saying? Next, I'm creating a collage in Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use canva.com. It's totally free. And this year, I really want to be more organized. So instead of scattering the images across the board like I've done in, in previous years, I organize them nicely into rows and it is very pleasing to me. I got this packet of cardstock as well as this gold frame from Michaels and I printed the collage onto a page of cardstock and then I just floated it in this picture frame. And voila, a beautiful vision board that not only makes great decoration in your bedroom, but it's so pretty that you actually want to look at it every day. So let's get into what I put on my vision board and why. So we'll start off in the top left corner here. Obviously I have the year here. Um, I actually created this without the year and then my mom looked over my shoulder and she was like, you don't have the year on this. And I was like, so? And she was like, hmm. And then walked away and I was like, okay, maybe I do need a year on it. <laughs> so I put the year on it. <laughs> But anyway, right underneath that, I put a photo of me driving a Tesla because you guys know this already. I really want a Tesla. The Tesla that I'm driving is actually my brother's Tesla, um, but I figured it would be a really great photo to put on my vision board because it's actually me in the photo driving a Tesla. So like what a better way to, you know, visualize me having a Tesla than a photo of me literally driving a Tesla. You know what I'm saying? So I put a photo of me driving my brother's Tesla. And then I also put a photo of a white Tesla Model Y. I This is the same exact color that I want. These are the rims that I want. So I made sure to get very specific. When you make your vision board, you try you wanna try to get as specific as possible just so um, you know, you're know you aligned with what you really want and you can visualize exactly what you want um, so that you're like seeing it every day and like you know what you want. Um, I feel like a lot of people get off track in life in general because um, they think they know what they want but because they don't like see it every day they don't visualize it they don't say it every day they're kind of like 
oh, well, maybe I want this. And then, you know, you kind of veer off track and then you're like, oh, actually I don't want this. So you have to find your way back. So if you get really specific at the beginning um, and you choose images, you choose, you know, language that's very, very specific, it's really gonna help you out in the long run. So the next three photos that I have on this vision board on the first row, um, these are indicative, not indicative, representative of my career. So I work in entertainment and obviously I'm a YouTuber. And I also love filmmaking. You know, when I was in college for computer information systems, I took a film production class and that's really what got me in, into like, uh, being interested in a career in filmmaking. My dad is a huge movie buff. So I grew up watching movies since I was born. <laughs> and so I really was interested in filmmaking. I just didn't know if it was possible to have it as a career. And now that I am where I am now, I really feel like, wow, anything is possible. Cause you know, a lot of people think that I'm a child actor, but I didn't start acting until I was like 20 or 21. So <laughs> I didn't know that like a career in entertainment was actually attainable and until I like, you know, made the leap and you know, now I am where I am. So now I'm like, wow, anything is, anything is really possible if you really put your mind to it and you really work hard. So the first photo here is a photo of like a clothing rack with a bunch of shoe options. And this is supposed to be representative of like, uh, when you have like a style, when you have a session with a stylist, they pull clothing, they pull wardrobe for you to try on for like a red carpet event, or like if you're doing press for a movie that you just did, they'll um, pick out outfits for like outfit options for what you're going to wear to your interview. If you go to Jimmy Kimmel, like there's options that your stylist like picks out for you. So um, I wanted to make sure that I chose photos not only of me, like, you know, a lot of actors may, might put like them winning an Oscar or something. But for me, like what gets me really excited about this career is like the fun stuff like this, like the getting ready for award shows and red carpets and doing press interviews. Like that's what it really excites me. This is like, the, like, this is part of, this is all part of the fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all really fun for me. So I wanted to make sure that I uh, picked a photo like that because it's just, it's just the fun part of the job, you know what I'm saying? And then the next photo I have right here is a photo, a photo of Sofia Coppola. Um, she's just like on set directing. Um, I would love to direct a feature film. And then obviously I'm also an actor. So the next photo here is a photo of a bunch of people at like a table read. And for anyone that doesn't know, a table read is basically where, um, actors like all the actors writers directors producers they'll come together in a room and they'll do like a a table a reading at the at a table or it's usually like a u-shaped table um because there's a lot of people <clears throat> but it's basically where actors get together and everyone reads their lines like we go through the script and we everyone like just like reads off their lines just to make sure that everything like translates well from paper to speech and if anything like any changes need to be made to the script and you know things like that so it's really like a pre-production thing and those are also very fun and exciting for me so i wanted to make sure that i included that on my vision board just because you know these are all things that excite me about like booking a job or like about doing uh, this as a career i love collaborating with other people so table reads are like really great for me so i wanted to make sure to include that i will say this though if you are interested in a career in acting or entertainment or fashion or any like creative field i do have a pinterest board on my pinterest called career and i added a bunch of like aesthetic looking photos like this that are kind of like representative of like a creative career um, so if you want to go follow that uh, Pinterest board so you can get some photos for your vision board. I will put that link in the description box down below. And then the last thing on the top row is, is a quote that says, you once dreamed of being where you are now. And I love that quote because it reminds me to express gratitude um, for where I am because like, you know, you once dreamed of being where you are now, you know, like if you graduated college and you're like working in your field, like you once dreamed of being where you are like obviously everyone wants to get promoted or you know they want to do more things obviously we're human beings we always want to like you know improve ourselves but you also have to be grateful for where you are right now so um, that's just a really great quote that i i want to uh, remind myself as i try to pursue more things 
um, I do have to remember like where I am right now, I once dreamed of being here. So um, it's just a really great reminder. So the second row, the next two photos, uh, those are photos of like a house. Uh, the first photo is the exact ar architectural style that I would love to have in a house. I really love like the modern um, style of houses. I just put this here because home ownership is really important to me. My dad is one of my biggest role models. Um, he has like four master's degrees. He's like a very, he's very successful in his career and things like that. And um, I really look up to him because he wasn't always there. He wasn't always in that position. Um, he actually used to be homeless uh, in his 20s. So I grew up with him telling me that, you know, if you own the roof over your head, you'll never be homeless. And so home ownership is something that's really, really important to me. That's um, just, that was just instilled to me as a child. So um, home, home ownership is important. So I would love to, love to own a home. Um, so that's why that is there. The middle photo here is a photo of a toy poodle. This dog reminds me of Kikai. Obviously, they're not the same color, but um, for those of you guys that don't know, Kikai is my uh, mom's dog, but when she went to the Philippines and then coronavirus happened, she couldn't bring Kikai back. So Kikai's still in the Philippines. She's with family, like she's being taken care of, but um, we, we don't have a dog anymore. <laughs> And I'm really sad about it. I miss Kikai so much. Sometimes my Lola, my, my grandmother, she like FaceTimes us and we get to see Kikai. Like I miss Kikai so much. I honestly don't know if she's ever gonna be able to come back. So, which is really sad, but I, I want like, I want a dog, I want a puppy, I want a companion. And I feel like I'm matured enough and I'm in a place mentally now where I'm able to, you know, take care of someone other than myself and dogs are so awesome. They love you unconditionally and I just really want a dog. <laughs> and then this next photo is just a really nice photo of a, I just really love the color palette. It makes me really happy. <laughs> and then the next photo is a photo of money, 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 money. And then, oh, I didn't talk about like the words that I had on here. So right here I have joy because um, that's kind of like my, my keyword for the year. Now that I'm on antidepressants, I can really feel, I can feel what joy feels like. I, I remember what joy feels like and what happiness feels like now. So um, I kind of want to lean into that more this year. And then I, I have physical, mental, and financial wellness. I want to be physical well, I want to be mentally well, and I want to be financially well. So those are just a reminder. And then prosperity, obviously who doesn't want prosperity ever? <laughs> and then balance. I feel like in 2020, I found a really great balance by being forced to stay at home. It really made me continue tend with everything going on in my life. It made me realize a lot of things. So uh, I feel like I found what balance can look like for me. So um, for 2021, I really want to like dial that in, you know what I'm saying? And like make it even more balanced. Um, moving on to the last row, this is just a photo of like a, um, this looks like a yogurt bowl or something. It's just a reminder to eat healthy. I mean, I pretty much already eat healthy, but this is just a reminder co to continue eating healthy because you know, we want to be physically well. Um, and then there's another photo that says, I want to make beautiful things even if nobody cares. When it comes to like YouTube and my social media usage, one thing that I've noticed in the past is I create things based on whether I think people will care or not. And that's something that I really want to let go of this year. I kind of let that go um, the past couple of months, but I really want to like let it go. Like I want to create beautiful things even if nobody cares. So that's just a reminder. And then the next photo is just a woman doing yoga because I want to improve my flexibility this year. And then the next photo is a green smoothie. Physical wellness, folks. And then obviously we have the numbers goal. So we have Instagram 1.1 million. I don't know why, I, I just screenshotted this from like someone's random profile and it, they just happen to have 1.1 million followers. So whatever. And then um, on YouTube, I would love to hit a million subscribers. So that is my vision board for 2021 folks. Uh, what's on your vision board? What are your goals for 2021? What are your keywords for 2021? Let me know. Also, I'm constantly updating my Pinterest that expands on all of this even more. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm always updating my Pinterest every single day. More uh, inspirational, motivational photos and you know, 
things like exactly what's on my vision board. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to live an intentional, beautiful, and joyful life, and I'll catch you guys next time.